This week's schedule was created by an AI and is supposedly the best way possible to achieve work-life balance. In this video, I will show you how I created this AI and how it was able to be super productive without draining all its energy by the end of each week. Specifically, I will use this AI to run simulations and answer the following questions. How many hours per week should I spend on working and how many hours on resting? How long should my deep work sessions be for maximum productivity? How long should my breaks last? And finally, can I come up with an optimal schedule for my week? Here are the timestamps of this video in case you want to skip ahead. To solve this problem, I'm using a reinforcement learning approach. The goal of my AI agent is to maximize the following equation. Productivity and energy levels lie between 0 and 100 and denote how productive or energetic the agent is at each moment in time. A and B are used to define the importance of each variable. In this case, since we are looking for a balance between working and living, A and B are equal. The AI agent can be in four different states. Low energy and low productivity. Low energy and high productivity. High energy and low productivity and high energy and high productivity. The probability of moving from one state to another is directly related to the energy and productivity levels of the agent at each moment in time. Because I don't want this video to get too long and boring, I'm not going to go deep into the details. If you want to find out more about the problem definition, I have included a link with a blog post in the description below. Before I move on, I want to point out the obvious. This problem is oversimplified. When I'm referring to work, I'm talking about anything productive you need to do during the day, not just your job. And when I'm talking about rest, I mean anything that re-energizes you, like sleeping, relaxing, going to the gym, etc. I also assumed a continuous time schedule of 168 hours, which corresponds to one week. Every hour, the AI agent has to choose between working and resting. The state which the agent is in might also change every hour or so, depending on the energy and productivity levels. Great. Now that you understand every single thing about this approach, let's go ahead and build this thing. First, let's design an interface that allows us to monitor the training of our AI agent and give an answer to all our questions. We need to keep track of our energy and productivity levels. Of course, I'm also adding a fancy animation below to see when our agent is working and when he or she is home chilling. Right, let's also add some stats. On the right side, we are going to be monitoring how many hours per week the agent works versus rests. Below that, we are going to be registering how many hours the agent spends in each of the four states per week. Finally, let's also calculate how many consecutive hours the agent spent on working slash resting on average per week. Perfect. Now we just need to build all this in Unity. Bada dim bada boom, and it's done. That was easy. Oh, right, we also need to um, code. Brrr. Here's the agent. Brrr. Here's the environment. A few more scripts. And we are ready to train our AI agent. Let's go. We are going to run the training simulation for 700 weeks, which corresponds to approximately 30 and a half years, or 117,600 hours. Initially, we can see that the AI agent is drained of energy and is not very productive either. The hours are almost evenly split between working and resting throughout the week, and the distribution between states is pretty much random. Okay, so let's train. By week 20, just like millennials, our AI agent is tired all the time, but at least now it has begun figuring out how to become more productive. If we take a look at the state distributions, we can see that our AI suspects that being in a high energy, high productivity state is much more desirable than being in a low energy, low productivity state. Which is obviously true. Our aim is to see the agent moving away from low states and towards high states. Keep in mind that even if the agent has extremely high energy and productivity, the high energy, high productivity state is not guaranteed. The randomness element might force the agent to move back to a lower state. Just like in real life, things can always go wrong despite the energy and effort you put into your work. Right, let's continue then. Between weeks 30 and 60, the AI agent realizes that it is still always tired, so it decides to experiment with increasing the resting hours per week. 
Okay, so let's speed things up and see how that goes. Our AI is now 100 weeks old. The approach it has taken, when it was still young, seems to be working, since it now has a lot more energy without sacrificing productivity. We are also now beginning to notice a new trend. The number of consecutive work hours seems to be going down, whereas the consecutive rest hours are going up. Great, now that we know exactly what to expect, let's fast forward and run the training simulation for 600 more weeks, and if for some weird reason watching simulations is not mesmerizing for you, you can skip ahead to week 700. You weirdo. We've made it to week 700. Our AI agent is as productive and as energetic as it can get. This shows us that the training is over and that our AI somehow managed to find a balance between working and living. Now that the simulation is over, let's go back to the questions we said in the beginning and see if we can answer them. So, how many hours per week should I spend on working and how many on resting? Well. If we look at the pie chart, we can see that our AI agent spends approximately 65% of week hours on resting and 35% on working. Again, working and resting are very abstract notations in this context, so please do not overwork yourself. One thing we can be confident about is that working above 60 hours per week will most likely cause you to burn out. If an AI couldn't do it, how can you? Moving to the next question. How long should my deep work sessions be for maximum productivity? Well, on average, our AI advises to work for one and a half hours before taking a break. This finding seems to go hand in hand with new trends that have been popping up lately around working more efficiently. Many claim that doing deep focus work in small time blocks and having many breaks during the day is much more productive and fulfilling than continuously working for 6 to 8 hours straight. The Pomodoro Technique is one of the well-known and most extreme in my opinion methods that attempts to do something similar to that. Our AI also advises to keep our breaks around 2.5 hours long on average. Remember that we assumed a continuous time schedule of 168 hours per week. This means that sleep is included in those 2.5 hours. This unorthodox approach to working and resting in small time blocks seems way out of touch with reality for most people. But there are plenty of examples of famous scientists, artists and politicians throughout history that chose to go with similar out-of-the-norm time schedules. A well-known and extreme example of this is the Da Vinci sleep schedule, according to which Da Vinci slept for 20 minutes and then worked for 4 hours straight on repeat. This is also known as polyphasic sleep. Nathaniel Jew, who is a creator on YouTube, tried this insane daily routine but failed in the end. His daily routine was ridiculous. His video is remarkably interesting though, so I'll leave the link in the description below if you want to see exactly how that went. Speaking of crazy daily routines, it's time. I've used this AI to create my own week schedule. Here's the result. I call it AI guided um, time blocking. Yeah. Sounds pretty cool. Well, this is what our AI claims to be a good schedule to achieve almost perfect work-life balance. When you take a closer look at it, it doesn't seem that crazy either. On the contrary, I think it's quite doable. If you are a productivity guru and decide to try this out, please let us know how it went. Actually, I think I will forward this to Nathaniel Jun himself. It would be very interesting to see him trying this routine and presenting the results in his own unique way. Or maybe, um, uh, I don't know, comment below who do you think should try this and maybe I'll try and reach out to them. Before you go, I have an important announcement. I've been uploading new videos once or twice every 3 to 6 months. YouTube doesn't like that. And as it seems, I'm about to be kicked out of the YouTube partner program. 
This means zero support for this channel and my work. To be fair, I completely understand why YouTube is doing this. I really want to be creating a lot more interesting, high quality AI projects and upload a lot more videos as well. But to do that, I need your support. That's why I'm launching my own Patreon page to help me partially fund some of these projects. The link is in the description below. You can find more details there on how you can support these projects. I will constantly improve my Patreon page and try to offer more value back to you guys. So yeah, thank you for watching and thank you for supporting this channel. Okay, 